So hey guys, welcome back. It's been such a long time since you've actually seen my face on the camera. Um, if you haven't been checking out the channel over the last month, I showed you my trip around Bali. Um, that was like so hard to edit and so much to do. So I thought I'd come back and um, show my face. But this time we are going to be um, going through some funny stories from when I was a kid. Um, just to give you a little bit of uh, humour this week. Some of them are quite mean, but still funny now that I look back on it because nobody got hurt or anything, so that was okay. So uh, we're just going to jump right into it. So uh, back after the intro. Gonna eat so many goddamn crumpets. It's gonna be a crump apocalypse. Okay, so this first one you might already know. Um, I think I may have said it in another video. I'm not too sure, but I'll just say it anyway. But basically, I had this friend in this house where I am now years ago Jeez, it was probably about I'd say easily 15 years ago now and she had one of those cool do you remember when you were a kid those VTech laptops um, and they, they were like they were crap they were really really bad but there was this one really cool game where you were kind of like a spaceship and you had to spell out words and stuff like that it was really cool but she had this laptop and she used to always bring it over and she was really nice she'd always let me play she was like she never kept it to herself never gave out and I always brought it over for us to play so, but me, I was jealous, which is weird because I don't get jealous really. Uh, this is one of the few times in my life I can remember being jealous. And she was playing with it and kept going on about it or whatever, and we were trying to play it. And then the, la the B Tech laptop was gone, the battery was gone low, so she was like, no, 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 we can't play it, blah, 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 whatever. But I got really annoyed because I couldn't get one. And it had been about a year later, and it asked for Christmas, and I couldn't get one because they were quite expensive back at the time. Oh, sorry, that's my laptop wanting to be annoying. Um, just mute that. <laughs> but, uh, so I couldn't get one, and she came over. This is so mean of a story. <laughs> but she, she used to stay over, and she'd be on the top or bottom bunk, and I'd be on the other bunk. And we used to like stay up to all hours in the morning, laughing and stuff, and obviously trying not to let her parents hear us. But this one time, we were in the bedroom, and it was only about 8 o'clock at night or something like that, so it was coming up to bedtime, but it wasn't bedtime yet. So we were laughing and playing around like really loud because it was okay to be awake and I don't know why or how but it came over me that I would get her to sleep on the top bunk and I'd sleep on the bottom which was fine that was no problem um, but I left on purpose <laughs> the VTech laptop on the very edge you know where the ladder goes up and you go up on the top I left it on the very edge there so it would fall down um, and she was on the top bunk didn't realise it was there and I told her to jump up and down <laughs> on the bunk bed <laughs> obviously she did um, it fell I left it open and it fell uh, screen first shattered screen was broken and yeah that's kind of the end of that story <laughs> um, I completely played up that like why did she leave it there and somehow got away with it and she thought she did it um, <laughs> and she hadn't got one anymore <laughs> it sounds horrible because i'm laughing really bad it isn't funny but it's funny now that i look back on it um because it's actually quite mean to do to somebody but uh yeah so there's one uh, little story to tell you um the next story i have um uh, which one will i go with god i've got a few stories oh yeah i'll go with the next one because i'm gonna sound really mean if I put two others together. So I'll put a nice one in the middle. Um, I went over to my friends. I'm not going to mention who they are because they hate when I tell the story, especially to them. But I went over Christmas Eve and uh, this was, I think we were just gone 18. So it probably would have been about nine years ago. And uh, it was the first ever Christmas Eve got spent together. It was usually we, our, my family would have something and their family would have something on. And, Obviously, staying over Christmas Eve means you're going to be there Christmas Day, so then you're supposed to be with your family and stuff like that. And I was all fine, I wasn't with my family the following day, but we were able to stay over. So we stayed over, we had the house to ourselves, so we put on, I think we watched loads of Will and Grace, and we just had such a fun time, we were having loads and loads of drinks. I'm pretty gifted in that I can drink a massive amount, and I can mix an awful lot of anything, and I'll be okay. Um, my friend wasn't so lucky, but they thought they could do that and I was no problem. Even though I did mention to them the, the size of them, as in 
lengthwise and openwise that they wouldn't be able to handle it but they didn't want to listen to that anyway <laughs> so they went mixed loads and eventually um they were sitting and kind of spinning a little bit and i was like what's wrong and they were like oh well i think i'm a little bit pissed i shouldn't have mixed the drink and i was like yeah i told you that so because i was drunk and we were both giddy as well she was kind of like oh well i said she now so it's she uh she was kind of like feeling sick but having a laugh so i kept pushing her more and more kind of in a circle with her <laughs> so then she felt felt really really sick she said she was going to get sick, left the room, ran up the stairs, halfway up, like literally halfway up the stairs and the bathroom's at the very top. She stops and goes, no, I'm not going to make it. Runs back down the stairs, around the stairs and into the kitchen. In other words, if you could do all that, you would have made it to the bathroom. <laughs> but no, in her drunken mind, she couldn't. <laughs> She does all that and meanwhile I'm in the sitting room, I didn't know any of this was going on, I just presumed she'd gone up and it, it was like about two minutes later and I was like what's going on and then all I could hear was don't come into the kitchen <laughs> so I walk into the kitchen <laughs> and she's there on the ground cleaning up something so of course I'm like she didn't make it to the sink, she got sick so I went over to help her clean the sink because I was like she's pretty pissed <laughs> But she wasn't cleaning the sink. <laughs> she was cleaning a clean part of the floor with tissue while kneeling in the sink. So she was sitting in the sink, <laughs> cleaning a clean part of the floor. It was so funny. I never ever forget it. So of course, like I told her, just get up, go in the or go upstairs, get yourself better. Because she'd gotten sick now, and she was like, I feel fine. Like I'm drunk, but I feel fine. So I told her to go make sure she's okay. But I cleaned up the sink and everything like that. Um, and yeah that was another funny story again I was a bastard because I was pushing her around in circles but I was trying to help her and I didn't realize she was that sick because she was so drunk and she was laughing going around in circles that I didn't realize so I didn't intentionally do it to get her sick I was just doing it because we were laughing so it's not that bad the next story however makes me out to be an asshole too <laughs> um, when I was younger um, I would have been five, God, so would have been probably about 22 years ago, I think. Um, there was this kid down the road, his name was Peter. I hated him, I could not stand him. But his mum and my mum got along quite well, so they hung out quite an awful lot. And yeah, we, we, we just did not like each other at all, really, really didn't. There's actually two stories about this guy. Um, one is very brutal and the other one uh, is not so brutal. But he, uh, one day the, the roof in our house leaked and it leaked through into my bedroom but it destroyed my floor so my floor actually had a hole through it down into the kitchen and my room's above the kitchen and it was about like it was about human sized ish like as a, as a kid so it would have been a bit small but um and you could step into it and your leg would be in the kitchen so uh, I covered it with a mat because obviously if I had any of my friends over I would say, I'd say like you know be careful of that blah 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 and just cover it with a mat because it didn't look great until we could get it fixed and it was only for it was only there for about I think it may have been maybe two weeks because we couldn't get people for a while to do it because at the time this is when like people had loads of money and they were all doing everything so it was hard to actually get someone to come out like within a week to do things for you and um, he came over it was really annoying me I just and he kept saying something about how it was wrong I don't even remember what it was but it was something stupid anyway as kids and I told him to go over by the window because over by the window on the right hand side of the window was where the hole was with the carpet and I just told him to walk on the carpet but for ages he kept asking me why the carpet why walk on the carpet and I was like just walk on the carpet it's fine like don't worry about it just go over to the window look at the window over by the carpet so he does and he goes flying through thank god because i didn't realize as a kid how dangerous this was but thank god when he fell he did that so his arms caught him on both sides of the floor so <laughs> this is so mean i'm such an asshole so um he fell down through the hole and i can just remember him like i've been so shocked that he couldn't even see say help which is terrible it's so bad 
but I hated this kid so like this kid did so much on me he used to always pick on me he used to always slag me um, he used to always kind of like hit me in the back really hard stuff like that he used to always slag my mom and he used to always call me a nerd and a loser and no friends and all this kind of stuff he was just an asshole like I did not like the guy at all so obviously I didn't I did something back to him something horrible which I shouldn't have done but he was just dangling in there and little did I know that my mom my dad and possibly no she was not there his mother was not there thank god my mom my dad were sitting in the kitchen and all they could see was these legs dangling and i always thought that my parents got pissed off came up to me gave out and i pretended i didn't know and he just went through or whatever and that was fine and um, he got out my mom had to get the the brush not the not the pole end but the actual flat end that you sweep it she had to get that to push him back up but my dad had to put him up so we got out he was fine there was nothing wrong nothing happened just got a really bad scare which I can't bloody blame the kid but thank god he did not fall through because he could have broke his legs or something um, but I thought to this day my parents were like not really annoyed at me but not happy with what happened because I lied and said it was a joke they know it wasn't I'd make that a, uh, it wasn't it was a lie now but little did I know that my mom knew, didn't like the kid at all my mom like now says to me like he was an asshole he just he was not a nice kid nobody really liked him apparently and stuff like that but little did I know, my parents knew I had done that. They just didn't give out to me because of all the stuff he had done on me. So when they saw him dangling through the kitchen, they, instead of being like normal parents and going, oh my God, blah, blah, they actually laughed first. I had to stop laughing to come upstairs and help because they knew I had done it on purpose because of everything else he had done. Another story with that guy was a couple of years after, I think a year or two after that, still hanging around with him because the parents still got along I was sitting there and he was annoying me all day we were sitting on the curb and he just kept slagging me and slagging me and slagging me and then I think he called my mom like a whore or something and remember we're six years old like this is ridiculous and he called my mom a whore so we had little water guns that we were playing with and I, I, I don't know what I, I think it was years years of building up and being so annoyed and getting so frustrated with him and he just wouldn't stop going on by my mom that something took over. I grabbed the water gun and I just did that. I didn't even look what I was doing, where I was hitting or what I was doing. I presumed it was gonna be in his stomach. So I just did that and lost it. Didn't realize I have, I've always been tall for my age um, than most people. Um, so I didn't realize that when I do that, that was his teeth. And I knocked out his two front adult teeth and <laughs> I felt terrible, never talked to the guy ever again after um, my parents and their parents had a fallen out then of course um, because she was like he did that to my son and my mom was like well he's always punching him, he's always hitting him, he's always picking on him, he's always slagging him, he always has other kids and blah 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 and she was like like I've given out to him for doing it and he shouldn't have done it but your son shouldn't have blah 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 so they had a fallen out whatever um, never saw the guy again but <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because it's not funny it, and don't ever ever do that to someone because it is not justified no matter what I just don't know what came over me it's just I don't know I don't know what happened but anyway when I was roughly about 22 I was talk, uh, talking to someone from school and it turned out they knew him from years ago and I was like oh okay and I told them the funny story and they were like yeah he still doesn't have front teeth so yeah <laughs> Moral of the story is don't ever annoy Shane. Um, I think I've got another story for you. Oh yeah, Jesus, that's funny. Yeah, I have one more story to end on, and this is probably karma for me. Um, if you checked out my videos that just went by Bali and all that stuff, I put loads of videos in. You can see them all and stuff like that. You can go back and check them. But while I was over there, <laughs> we had one day in particular, and. I think it was actually my birthday day. I'm nearly sure it was, but I'm not 100% sure. And I think we'd just gone to see and um, play with the dolphins, which is in a video you can watch previously. Um, I think it was like two or three videos back. But we went to go play with the dolphins, had a great day, um, came back. And just after seeing the dolphins and stuff like that, I just kind of got this lull all of a sudden. I was kind of like, oh, like, you know. And I didn't really want to go out that night. I don't know why I didn't. I had a lovely dinner. It was absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And it was a stunning restaurant. And I loved the dolphins. I just had a great day. And I just felt that I was done with the day. That like it was just perfect. And that was it. But uh, my boyfriend Sean wanted to go out. And obviously for my birthday and blah, blah. So I was like, okay, we'll go out. 
I could be getting this wrong, it could have been a different day, but I'm nearly sure they were the same day. So we were literally just walking around the road and it was just like to um like kind of like well not an estate but like two roads back and down. Um and that's all we were walking. So we were walking along the side path and Sean turns around to me and says up. So I presume to, you know, step up because there, there's a step. But what, what, what he meant to say was like there was a big hole in the ground because in Bali they, they are constructing paths everywhere but what they tend to do for some reason, I don't know why, is do a really long path and then all of a sudden there's a giant gap and then another long path and there's a giant gap. I don't know why they do it and it's not everywhere but it was pitch dark when we were walking this as well. So he set up, my natural intention was to lift my foot up to go to the next and I put my foot up and I just went all the way down and didn't know what happened at first but I felt sore and I knew I'd scraped my feet off of concrete. That's all I knew. I was like, what the hell, blah, blah, So I looked down, I take my leg out, it's all completely pitch black, whatever. So I get my phone out, have a look. And there's just black sludge all over me. And I was like, what the hell? So I show my phone with the light, or I shone the light with my phone, had a look, and it was this giant hole, and it was a sewer, right? This was disgusting, it was a sewer. But not only that, and this is how bad the story gets as well. Not only did I fall in the sewer, but when I took out one of my feet, because both of them went in, I lost my sandal. But these are my favorite sandals I bought in Bershka years ago. They're like a real Hawaiian kind of looking sandals and they look like they're made of grass. I, I just, I absolutely love them. So <laughs> I was like, Sean, no, I can't. Like he was like, do you wanna go back to the hotel or what? And I was like, no, I'm not leaving that there. And Sean was like, yeah but it's it's a sewer it's buried under there like there's nothing you can do and i wasn't desperate enough to put my hand in or try to fish it out so my leg that was already covered in all the sewer i was like trying to grab the sand but i couldn't see where the sand was because it was about that deep of black sludge so i couldn't see where the sand was so i kept using my foot to try wiggle and find it so i was just sifting through with an already it was just disgusting so I kind of started to give up until this guy came over and he saw what happened or whatever. He was like, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And he was lovely. He was really nice. Um, so he came over and he kind of like hosed down my feet for me because I think he like worked there locally but he knew where kind of the, the hose was. It was right next to us but because everything was going crazy, I couldn't see it. So he like hosed down and I got it all off me and it was all fine. And I'd gotten tetanus just before I went, just before I arrived there and all. So I was like, okay, I don't need to go to hospital because the worst thing I'm gonna need is a tetanus shot and I already have that. So I was like, that's fine, thank God. But I had cuts all down my knees and all my toes were in bits and stuff like that. And my ankle was kind of a little bit sprained for a couple of days. The streets are clean. It's just because they've been developed and stuff like there was kind of stones and stuff like that everywhere. So you can't really walk it like you could, but you might end up worse. So he gets this big stick from nowhere, fishes it out, get it out, whatever, wash them completely clean or whatever. But rather than go back to the hotel and just kind of, you know, go to bed or just make sure it was okay, I decided, fuck this. <laughs> I now need a drink. <laughs> so I, this was obviously all just the adrenaline going or whatever. I just went, we went around the corner, got a drink, um, got twisted, had a great night, it was all great fun. Um, about halfway through the night I realised that, because I was in shorts and t-shirt because it was really warm over there and sandals, whatever, I realised that my feet and my thing were actually really, really bad. Like, I didn't think it was that bad. That I was walking around a nightclub in the middle of Bali with blood on, <laughs> on my knee and all over my um, feet. But lucky enough, it was dark enough, nobody noticed, and it was a gay bar. Um, so that was all okay. <laughs> But I woke up the following morning to look at it and like I had a massive huge gouge gone out of my uh, toe, my big toe that was taken out. I had scrapes all down my knees and everything and like there was blood all over it and stuff and I was like holy shit like I really shouldn't have. And then obviously alcohol thins the blood. So yeah that was uh, quite a, a memorable <laughs> story. But uh, And on the same night we got an offer from a taxi driver that he would drive us around Bali and show us everywhere for a threesome. Yeah, we were like, no thanks, we're not interested. Plus the fact Uber is like two euro over there to go like an hour down the road. So we were like, no thank you, we're not interested. Plus it's not exactly expensive anyway. But um, so that was story time with me. That was all my funny um, stories. I can't even think of what title to name this video because there's so many titles that 
will just look ridiculous. But um, thanks a million for watching as usual guys. And if you like this video, like it down below, leave some comments. I love, I've replied to every single comment I've ever gotten as far as I know. Um, so if you want to talk down below, talk down below, I'll join in. And as usual, link, like, and share. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. You can find me everywhere under the Golden Cloud. Um, or you can go to my website, goldencloud.com, where I do a lot of articles. I do like um, Press Start, which is a video game, kind of uh, psychology and kind of uh, topics and stuff like that every Monday. I do Pop Wednesday, which I review some pop figures. And um, that's obviously Wednesday. Friday. Um, is the comic box so I review a comic that I really like and tell you guys how it is and then on Saturday I do like a travel blog of all the places I've been and things like that and then obviously the YouTube is every Monday so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just wanted to show my face again um, I think next week is going to be um, another travel vlog but I'm not sure yet I might give it a couple of weeks break and then go back to it just because it might be too much for everybody I don't know if you want to see that as I say, comment down below. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye Thanks very much for watching guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos here as well.